Take care when lifting the machine out of the case that you don't catch and break the power socket. Attach the combined power and pedal lead firmly before plugging into the mains. Lift the catch on the bobbin case to remove it from the machine. Turn the stop motion knob anti-clockwise to disengage the needle bar while you're winding the bobbin. Put a felt disc on the spool pin to stop the spool spinning too fast. Then put the spool on the pin, bringing the thread over the front thread guide and down to the bobbin winder tension disc. Pass the thread through one of the holes in the bobbin from inside to out. And place the bobbin on the winder securely. Push the bobbin winder down against the hand wheel. While holding the thread tail, slowly start the machine to wind the bobbin. You may need to hold the winder against the hand wheel if yours slips, like this one does. The excess thread will snap off or you can snip it off if you prefer. The 221 does not have an automatic release when the bobbin is full, so once you have enough thread on the bobbin, stop the machine, snip the thread and move the winder away from the hand wheel, and of course remove the bobbin. Don't forget to re-engage the stop motion knob. The bobbin goes in the bobbin case with the thread coming off in an anti-clockwise direction. Pull the thread through the slot in the bobbin case and make sure it snaps under the tension spring. Pull the latch on the bobbin case and use it as a handle to place it back into the bobbin race. Take the thread down from the front thread guide and around and between the tension discs. Pull the thread up, lifting the check spring until the thread goes over the notch in the top of the tension assembly. Then make sure the thread goes behind the wire guard. Before passing it through the eye of the take up lever from right to left. The thread goes through a guide on the face plate. Before going around the bottom thread guide. And yet another one on the needle bar. Thread the needle from right to left. The needle in this machine is a standard 15 by one mounted with the flat side to the left. While holding the thread tail, turn the hand wheel towards you to draw up the bottom thread. Pull both threads under the presser foot and to the back. Place your fabric under the presser foot and drop the presser foot down. While holding both thread tails, start to operate the machine. This lever adjusts the stitch length. Moving it up allows sewing in reverse. Thread jams are a common problem with these machines. To avoid them, make sure you only ever turn the hand wheel towards you. I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have, please give it a like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all my future uploads. Thanks for watching.